It's the car enthusiast and welcome to my channel The Car News. Today I am talking about how does Audi's RSQ e-tron Dakar car work. The Audi RSQ e-tron is a fascinating machine, pushing the boundaries of electric technology in one of the world's harshest environments. In its core, the RSQ e-tron is an electric car, which is something of a boon for Audi given that it's just spent seven years in Formula E, so it's safe to say any kinks in its electric drivetrains have been worked out by now. Not that they really seem to need much finessing. Lucas Di Grassi won the first Formula E race in 2014 for Audi Sport Ad after all and claimed a driver's title in 2017. The year after, the team would get its first Formula E title and Di Grassi would never finish outside the top three in the championship. So it's safe to say the electric motors on each axle were battle-tested, even before the RSQ e-tron first set off into the Arabian desert last year. And considering it claimed four stage wins in its maiden race and is being fabulously reliable this year, we'd have to say battle proven too. Here's how it works. Electric power. Unlike traditional Dakar rally cars, the RSQ e-tron is fully electric, drawing power from a 52 cow to high voltage battery. This battery provides instant torque and impressive acceleration for navigating sand dunes and rough terrain. None slash per range extender. But what about range anxiety in the vast Dakar desert? That's where the innovative part comes in. The RSQ e-tron doesn't rely solely on its battery. It has a third electric motor that acts as a generator powered by a high-performance TFSI engine from an Audi DTM race car. This engine runs at its most efficient range, burning a special sustainable fuel called refuels that significantly reduces CO2 emissions compared to gasoline. The generator motor charges the battery while driving, extending the car's range considerably without needing frequent stops for traditional refueling. The RSQ e-tron's electric powertrain also has benefits in terms of driving. The instant on torque at any speed and strong regenerative braking means drivers don't have to constantly be thinking and planning where they need to be in the rev range to make it up a dun or hold their speed steady down a rocky decline, which there are a lot of in the Saudi Arabian desert. And when we say strong regenerative braking, we mean it. Because Dakar limits the amount of power the motors can deliver, they can actually brake harder than they can accelerate. But that's not saying acceleration is slow. This is still an Audi electric car, which gets up to speed in a way you can only achieve with electric motors, on properly loose surfaces, with massive 37-inch tires and 2.1 tonnes of RSQ e-tron, the innovative prototype will still haul itself from a standstill to the far side of 6 tenths in just over 4 seconds. And that's with about 350 bhp going to the wheels, too. There's more potential if it was allowed to be uncorked. Motor Magis The RSQ e-tron boasts three motor generator units, Madgas. In total, two are located on the axles, powering the car and recovering energy during braking. The third, as mentioned earlier, acts as the generator. These MGUs are derived from the proven technology of Audi's e-tron V7 Formula e-car, adapted for the Dakar's challenges. Overall impact This unique combination of electric power-efficient gasoline engine and energy recuperation makes the RSQ e-tron a powerful and sustainable contender in the Dakar rally. It showcases Audi's commitment to electric technology while tackling the range limitations often associated with it. I hope this video has been very helpful for you. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more awesome videos.